Now to a Fox News alert and a live look outside of Michael Cohen's home in New York City. President Trump's former lawyer could step out at any moment before heading to prison today. Yeah, I guess he's expected to speak before starting a three-year sentence. Todd Pyro joins us live from outside the prison that he will be heading to, where he will live for a couple of years in Otisville, New York. Todd. Good morning, Steve Ainsley and Brian. And following that impromptu news conference outside of Michael Cohen's home, he's expected to make the 70 mile trip up here to a prison that many people call one of the cushiest in America. So before Cohen arrives here, how did we get here? Let's look at a timeline. On April 9th of last year, the FBI raided Cohen's apartment, hotel room, office, and safe deposit box. On August 21st, the president's former personal attorney pleaded guilty to eight felonies, including fraud and tax evasion. Then on November 29th, Cohen pleaded guilty again, this time to making false statements to Congress. And on December 12th, Cohen was sentenced to three years in prison. Now, as for this prison, known as the Federal Correctional Institution in Otisville, Cohen will be housed in a dormitory style unit in the prison's minimum security camp, where he's going to have access to a full time rabbi as well as a cafeteria serving familiar snacks like Doritos and Diet Sprite. Cohen reportedly tried to shorten his sentence by setting up a meeting with the feds to provide more info, but that offer to be a whistleblower was not accepted. Standing around here, we asked some law enforcement wandering the area when they expected Cohen to come. They're in the dark. They don't have an exact time, but we do know that Michael Cohen will be here by 2 p.m. That is the deadline. Could be sooner, but it can't be later.